to prepare a true solution of common salt sugar and alum a suspension of soil chalk powder and fine sand and water a colloidal solution of starch and egg albumin in water and distinguish between these on the basis of transparency filtration stability a true solution is a homogeneous transparent solution in which solute completely dissolves in the solvent and cannot be separated from solvent by filtration it has a particle size is less than 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter it is a clear and transparent solution passes through the filter paper easily is stable and does not scatter light a colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture and is translucent it has a particle size which ranges between 10 raised to the power minus 8 meter to 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter it can pass through filter paper and is stable a suspension is a heterogeneous opaque mixture particle size of suspension is more than 10 raised to the power minus 5 meter its particles do not pass through filter paper and settle under gravity when left undisturbed for some time madam how can we distinguish between these we can distinguish these on the basis of transparency filtration and stability let's do an experiment to distinguish true suspension and colloidal solution our aim here is to prepare a true solution of common salt sugar and alum a suspension of soil chalk powder and fine sand and water a colloidal solution of starch and egg albumin in water and distinguish between these on the basis of transparency filtration stability the materials required are test tubes beakers water common salt sugar alum soil chalk powder fine sand egg albumin starch funnel glass rod and filter paper procedure preparation of solutions or mixtures take 8 beakers and label them as a b c d e f g h and add 50 ml of water to each beaker add samples of nacl sugar and alum to beakers a b and c stir to make clear solutions add soil chalk powder and fine sand to beakers d e and f stir for some time add a small amount of starch to water and boil the content in beaker g in beaker h add egg albumin and stir vigorously this should not be heated observe the mixtures and record the observations observations beakers a b c transparency the solutions are clear and transparent and particles are not visible stability the particles do not settle down as sediments the solutions are therefore stable filtration salt solution can easily pass through filter paper and no residue is seen on filter paper type of solutions solutions a b c are true solutions beakers d e f transparency solutions are opaque the particles are visible with naked eyes and labels are not visible from the other side stability the particles settle down on standing undisturbed and the solutions are therefore unstable filtration the particles do not pass through filter paper and residue is seen on filter paper type of solutions solutions d e f are suspension solutions beakers 
GH. Transparency. The solutions are turbid, but the particles are not visible. The labels are dimly visible and solutions are translucent. Stability. The particles do not settle down as sediments. The solutions are therefore stable. Filtration. The particles pass through filter paper and no residue is seen on the filter paper. Type of solutions. Solutions G and H are colloidal solutions. Result. Beaker A. Common salt forms true solution in water. Beaker B. Sugar forms a true solution in water. Beaker C. Alum forms a true solution in water. Beaker D. Soil forms a suspension in water. Beaker E. Chalk powder forms a suspension in water. Beaker F. Fine sand forms a suspension in water. Beaker G. Starch forms a colloidal solution in water. Beaker H. Egg albumin forms a colloidal solution in water. Precautions. Distilled water should be used. The components should be mixed in small amounts. Fold the filter paper properly and moisten it before use. Glass rod should be clean. Shake the contents of solution or suspension or colloid thoroughly in water. Thank you ma'am. We have understood the experiment very well.